turn all of these into lumber and then I've got more over there by the fourth. First step is clean all this snow off the mill. That's what happens when you get feet, feet of snow. Three feet I think we got over the course of two days. Well, I guess over the course of four days. And then it, then it snowed this little bit. I came up here and I knocked this off at one point, I think. But nice that it didn't rip through. That's ripped on me in the past. time I was using this thing I noticed that the blade wasn't tracking nice and straight it was lifting up so I had to go real slow just so that the blade would stay flat oh come on don't, don't drop things oh, not impressed with myself for that I never leave that out Fine, damn, come on, like, I was putting everything away in the dark. I had it left out here for the last thing to grab, and I guess I forgot it. So anyways, back to this, uh, back to this mill here. Oh, still snow. So anyways, these... In here, there's blade guides. See how much movement I've got? That's not supposed to have any movement at all. Oh, where's this guy? This one's a little better, but that's why my blade was walking up. And I've also hit a couple of things with this blade, so I'm gonna change it today. Well, here's how my box of blades came. Hey, look at that. I like that. They're not dangerous when they're all uh, when they're all rung up in a tiny little circle. They get they get kind of explodey. Why do those look used? There's sawdust on them. I don't think they're used. <laughs> I thought they were used for a second. Wouldn't that be funny? Wow, that's some tough wire. I'm right in the middle of cleaning this up. I'm getting closer every day. It's all got to go to the dump. The dump's closed, so I can't do that today. Yeehaw! They still spring at you. Glad I glad my foot was there. Okay. My first replacement blade. Cool. First step, is that the right size? Hey, it's the right size, cool. Oh, I should have brought a feeler gauge, but whatever. We'll do that after, I guess. And that backs this wheel in and uh, loosens the blade. Right, extra hard. I don't want to drop anything at all in the snow. I don't know what that little fucking plastic thing is, but that's awfully annoying. But with the old 
in with the new. See this wheel's moving over. See the belt, belt tighten up there. Let's give this a wiggle since it's here. Is that supposed to be loose like that? I would say so. Just make sure it's all the way on. And uh, spin it around a couple of times. Oh, see how that's coming off? Tells me it's not tracking straight, but I know it's loose, so it's not gonna track straight. Oh, I'm trying to show you how easy these are, and it's gonna start. <laughs> Never fails, eh? little bit of tension on it and it tightened and it tracks normally so we're gonna set that after I set these guides properly because it's easy to do from the side but now these guides I just want to get rid of that play so you see how where it's sitting it goes down a little and up a lot we're gonna raise that top one down quite a bit that one might be fine but I think we're gonna I think we're gonna play with it anyways So you want, they say you want a ten thousandths of a gap, which is about a credit card thickness. Ow. That's why I wear gloves. Scratch myself the second I take them off. I don't want them tight tight. Break them. I don't know what they're made of. This one's got two in it. That's just a blade guard that's in my way there. It's to stop, stop you from hitting the log stops. All right, now see how it's only got a tiny bit of play? That's gonna be way better. So it's touching on the bottom and I don't like that. So there we go. Oh, it's touching ice. But same thing, we're just gonna eyeball. And I'm I'm just eyeballing a little gap in there is all. You can just barely see light through. That's what you want. There we go, our tiny bit of play. We can torque down on this guy. I'm just going reasonably tight. I don't know what I don't know what it is, but I'm tight enough that I'm comfortable comfortable with it. And then same with this top one. We're gonna let it drop down. Okay, this one's resting right on the blade. We've got our downwards movement, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put just the tiniest pressure upwards, and then we're gonna tighten that and let it go. Look at that, perfect. I love when everything uses 10,000 spec because I can just eyeball that. I'm always pretty close. I'm always close enough. You know, this stuff doesn't have to be exact. Closer it is, the better. For what I'm doing, a 30 second of an inch in play is more than acceptable. Look at that. That's just a little warp in the blade that should straighten itself out. Lots of people take these off and leave them off. I don't see why it stops you from having a whole range of issues. Same as, same as these guys. I've seen, I've seen guys take them off and I just, I don't understand why you'd want to do that. I like to have it just, just enough in the way that it doesn't bug my log. Cause this is up against the side of the stops. So. Okay. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get to milling, I guess. It's been cold out, so we haven't been using water. It's not worth it. 
I'm not cutting anything anything with a lot of sap in it anyways that's all the water does everyone says oh it's for cooling the blade no have you ever touched the blade after a cut I'll show you it's not hot if it is hot you've got issues issues that you should fix if your blades heating up it's because you're pushing too hard or there's rollers in here those won't be working or or what we just went and changed come on you can stay Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, that screws those together. I'm trying to get it to screw into something. No, that holds everything in place. That's right. There we go. Blades on there. Acceptably tight. Everything still rolls nice and smooth. It's nice and flat. I like that a lot. Look at that. I kept my, kept my nails and my hammer and all. Oh, my chalk. Look at that. Everything survived the winter or the winter it's still winter up here everything survived that storm anyways let's get a log on the fire that's my mistake when i paced him out when i paced him out before the snowstorm and prepped him and throw him here i just walked him so I guess my 16 feet is actually 17, so we're gonna cut it off right here. Huh. That's what happens when you slip. Oops. Well, that sucks. I don't have a spare. She is grumpy. Oh. Haha. -ha. Idiot. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay. You can hear it smooth out there. Oh. Oh. That's usually when it's good. Proper belt tension on this, now that it's spun around. You go till it touches, so it's free, it's free, it's free, it's touching right about there. So we'll half, one, half, two, and a half, you're good. Or you make it so it's level with that, but I like two and a half better. Because as the clutch packs wear out, your two and a half stays consistent. The distance of this washer out does not. Well, if you can't see there, I guess I kind of screwed up a little bit on this one. This this end's perfect. I've got nice uh, nice two by sixes on this end, but 
these guys I should have cut off. I should have cut off a little bit less, about a quarter inch, half an inch less. And that would have saved me. Well, it's not bad having a live edge. It only it only missed by like a like an eighth of an inch at most. These are true six inches by two inches, so they're gonna be plenty strong anyways. Oh, as I trip all over everything. Uh, kind of annoying broke my chainsaw chain this guy's well over length and these guys are sticking out so I need my chainsaw my chainsaw is broken so here's my chainsaw chain so what happened was it just it just kind of fell apart when it hit that hit that thing so I think I think maybe we can just line it back up and press it back together in the vise or in the press if I can line it back up that is oh I see the flaw in my plan that's broken off yeah that's snapped off I think so I don't think that's the master link but I don't think I'm gonna be able to save that and my other little chainsaw this thing's a monster anyone know what that is I don't know if that helps you. That's my phone on the ground. Nice. That, that everyone is a Husqvarna 2100. 100 cc chainsaw. This is as big as a dirt bike. Small dirt bike, kids dirt bike, but it's as big as a dirt bike. <clears throat> You know what, human hands, human hands are stupid, they're so weak. So weak, you can't do hardly anything with them without hurting your own hands. We're gonna do this one handed today. <clears throat> Big gas tank on this one. At least we've got everything accessible. I came in the shop yesterday and cleaned up quite a bit. A bit better. Oh, I forgot it comes out as a big gloop. There we go. See if the old gal starts up. So there's no chain break on this one, so you want to make sure you're extra careful with it. Chokes here, on off.
that out. Check that out. That's some that's some pretty okay lumber, you know. You can hear the tooth. There's a tooth bent. We re 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 through the thing, but that's okay. I don't I don't have mine. So these are 16 feet long, so I can cut quite a bit off each end to make them perfect, but like that one you couldn't ask for much better. Knob off eight inches on that end and you've got a perfect one. And then, yeah, this one, like it's a little bit of a live edge, but whatever. I'm building for me. I'm not, I'm not building for anyone else. What do I care, right? <laughs> checking the fuel in this thing more. 99.9% .9 sure it just ran out. Yep. Dan. Oh man, come on. Oh yeah, this is broken, isn't it? How do you know when it's time to replace your wires? Okay, just clip this onto here. Flip this on. That's held. Now we should just be able to. Hopefully. It's not empty. Oh my god, is it empty? Nice. We have fuel. This thing pumps at about a liter a second, so every second it pumps, we should get about 20 or 30 minutes of run time, so. Now it's slowing down already, but that's okay. We'll call that good. I've got at least a quarter of a tank now, so we're all right for the rest of the day. This thing, this thing's not too bad when it runs out of fuel. If you listen. Okay, you can't hear it, but there is an electric fuel pump at work. So in theory, it shouldn't die. Are we good? I think we're good.
pretty good here. I just knocked these over, but we've got a pretty good stack going so far. I've got that many left, and then I got a whole bunch more over by the Ford. This one's actually really pretty. It's got some uh, mold or fungus or something in it. I don't, I don't know. I'm not an expert by any means, but the reason it's down in the burn pile is uh, it's got this crack in it, and it looks like it's just going to keep continuing up into that rot, so I don't know how good this is going to work for building anything. I might not burn it. None, none of this is going to get burnt right away. I might might keep it, sell it. I don't know. This log has a little bit of a banana to it. I kind of want to figure out, see how it's up in the air. I kind of want to figure out where the best place to cut this one's going to be for the sake of not wasting any of it. It's also too long, so I got to cut it down anyways. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking most of the bananas right here. So that's just going to be wasted wood anyway. So if I just lob that off right there, And then I'll measure 16 feet. And we'll cut it off and go from there. Fifteen, look at that, sixteen, just a hair over sixteen, so we'll just leave that the way it is then. Got a pretty, pretty decent. Oh, it was decent. That's okay. It was an edge piece anyway. Oh yeah, look at that garbage. That crack might not be good for me. Oh no, we're good. Bottom two boards, so that's a perfect two by six. That's a decent two by six. It's kind of a. Oh, she's clamped down tight. Kind of an end piece like this one was but there's no crack in this one so i'll have i'll have again six eight feet of it before it gets before it gets skinny at the end there That's all right when you can make two two by fours at home faster than you can go to the store and get them you're doing pretty good we're gonna stack all of this i don't know where yet but i want to stack all of this somewhere this over there is a little bit inaccessible There you go everyone, there's a challenge for you. One-handed 
one-handed uh, stop adjustment and a bow to it that's not good you see that banana log start with that flip it and see where we get how we know is I've got this scale set up exactly uh, inches above these these decks so when I cut seven inches or when I set the scale to seven inches I know I'm gonna cut seven inches above the deck so I've got a seven inch log and then I can flip it cut one more inch then I've got a six inch can That happens to the best of us, doesn't it? Look what I do for you guys. I'm holding this thing up. My battery died. I had to change it. So let's see if we can get this thing back on here. Oh yeah. Poor Gucci. Oh, I think it might have hit that or something. Knocked it off. <laughs> oh. Oh! I found the derailleur. All right, all of you on Woodland Mills Facebook page, you guys don't have an excuse now when your mill falls off. Lift it back on yourself. I just did, you've got proof. making 16 foot lumber where do you put it especially when you've got nowhere to put it <laughs> just in the snow i think what i really want to do maybe maybe clear these trees out these two little ones move that snow pile it's not very wide in there but i could have i could clear a spot the options are endless when you got acreage i guess look at this valley 
looks three times deeper with all the snow piled up here. Nice peaceful day though. And uh, well, I got my pile going. I got one more piece over there, but it's punky like this and this didn't turn out all that great. That's why I cut it up into stickers like that. So that I got something to stack this on. <clears throat> uh, maybe I'll just scratch up a flat spot over there and stack it there for now. Yeah, maybe I maybe I put it right here. Maybe we'll do that. Quick.